with a split general assembly where Republicans control the House of Delegates and Democrats control the Senate by a second seat now after they flipped that Republican seat in the last in the special election last night. How much can Governor Young can actually achieve? Well, here to navigate the political cross currents is our esteemed political analyst, Dr. Bob Holsworth. Bob, thanks for coming it's out. Great today. to be here this evening, Bill. Well, it is an exciting day, but tell us, you know, what stood out to you from his address in terms of achievable goals? Well, that's really interesting. I think the most achievable thing he, he mentioned, really, is to try to further address the deplorable mental health conditions that we've had in Virginia with the lack of access to beds for people who really need them. I think there can really be a bipartisan consensus on that. We've been addressing it over the last few years, but a real answer is long overdue, Bill. At the same time, there are a lot of things that are not going anywhere. Um, by and large, the Democrats have said they're going to be a brick wall against his proposal for a 15-week abortion ban. And at the Democrat, and that was such a brief mention too. It almost seemed like uh, I wouldn't say a throwaway line, but still uh, n didn't seem to spend much time on it. I didn't think he wanted to highlight it largely because he knows it's not going anywhere. Oh, I see. You know, at the same time, he did bring forward these corporate tax cuts and individual tax cuts that he wants to make Virginia, as he says, a more competitive state. At the same time, at the Democratic press conference today, they said they didn't think we should be spending a billion dollars on tax cuts, particularly for the either corporations or those people at the top of the income scale. They said they prefer to do things like reduce the cost of tuition at Virginia's colleges and universities. So my guess is that on a lot of those issues, they're going to be at loggerheads, with the exception of tax cuts uh, that, might, that might increase the standard deduction, especially for people at the lower end of the income scale. He also spent some time talking about energy and trying to reduce the electrical rates. Uh, he said he would like to see more sort of carbon capture, as I mentioned a moment ago, and modular nuclear reactors. Is that, a, is that just a, a, a way around what the Democrats would be looking for in that regard in terms of phasing out fossil fuels? Yeah, I think in some ways, uh, clearly he'd like to bring these modular nuclear reactors to southwest Virginia. He has a lot of support from the Republican delegation in southwest Virginia. At the same time, the Democrats are going to focus on his effort to remove Virginia from the regional greenhouse gas initiative, which they think is very important for the long-term issue of climate change. So, uh, again, it's going to be tough to find a lot of common ground on these issues, such as taxes, um, probably energy, um, and certainly the culture war issues such as abortion. All right. Dr. Bob, thank you so much for your insights as always.